So this is a procedure that is a very uncomfortable procedure for patients to have and most of them have um, several bone marrows throughout their course of their treatment at the point of diagnosis to find out exactly what's going on with them and then as they go through their cycles of chemotherapy trying to ascertain where they're up to with their treatment. Has their cancer gone away? Um, are they in a good remission? And from that point they, they require often half a dozen bone marrow examinations um, throughout their treatment and it's a procedure that um, by and large, if you were to go back 20 years, was only done by medical staff. And that would have been throughout the whole world. And then 20 years or so ago, things started to change and nursing started to become stronger. And we started to say to the doctors, maybe we can do this task. Maybe we can take blood. Maybe we can make antibiotics up. We can give some chemotherapy. We can put central lines in and we can do bone marrow procedures. So these tasks were started to be um, learnt by senior nurses. Um, and those senior nurses taught other senior nurses and it mushrooms and eventually throughout the UK now it's very um, normal for any hospital that you would go to for a nurse to do your bone marrow uh, biopsy, your aspirate, your trephine and in a, a few centres as well the nursing staff will also do bone marrow harvests. Um, this is not so common in the rest of Europe but I think that gradually things are starting to improve so my talk will be about the actual process of how a nurse does a bone marrow. Um, it's not so different to how a doctor does it. Um, maybe we take a few minutes longer to um, it, it, the way that a medic and a, and, a, and a nurse works is always slightly different and neither one is good and neither one is bad, they're just different. Uh, and I think that I was trying to explain how I do it uh, and the training process that I teach other people to do it um, to enable them to be able to um, come to my clinic, see what it is learn how to do it and then hopefully they will be able to do that within our hospital. Um, I'm unable to teach people from external hospitals at the moment but maybe that's something we can look at in the future but certainly within house um, we train other nurses to be able to do this.